for a while, I guess you had to separate, right? I mean, you had to, you left astronomy to do music. I did. I always thought astronomy benefited from me leaving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I did. <laughs> but you came back, and was it hard to come back. back? Was it well, hard? Well, I was never that far away. Yeah. Okay. You always sort of academically, it was hard. Yes, yeah. it was. It was tough, and yeah. it was a mountain that I nearly didn't manage to climb. To be honest. Uh, I was fortunate in having Michael Rowan Robinson, mm -hmm. um, who was the head of astrophysics at the time, about yeah. to retire. I was one of his last projects. Oh, really? Yeah, but he rang me up when he'd heard that I was thinking of rejoining this, the, this astronomical community, which had become astrophysics, yeah. uh, and said, if you, want to do, if you want to finish your PhD, I am here at the place where you started it, and I will be your supervisor. Oh, that was wonderful. So it was incredible. I mean, my yeah. heart kind of stopped. Really, and I dropped everything. I dropped for a year. I didn't do any anything, pretty any, much, any except music. yeah, except just sit in a little office in Imperial College, back where I'd started. Yeah, picking up the pieces of my PhD. It was tough. Yeah, it would be really bad. Tough, yeah, right? and they had to. I mean, they couldn't make it easy for me because that's yeah. not what PhDs are about. Yeah, yeah. PhDs are about making it fucking hard. Yeah, for yeah, the yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be <laughs> happy to get it over with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> every PhD student has to want to give up, yeah. or else he hasn't. Yeah, I almost his, You time. know what that's like. Well, you know, I think, yeah, because if you didn't, you might be too comfortable being a PhD student. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yes. I was hard, and I think three distinct times I tried to give up, but I had good friends. One of them is Garrick Israelian, who runs Starmus. Mm. Yeah. Uh, he took me away for a week and taught me how to read papers. Again? <laughs> Scientific <laughs> papers. He re-educated me on how, <laughs> on how to actually get the information out. And that was incredibly valuable to me. And Patrick Moore was... Yeah incredibly supported he just kept saying you can do it brian of course you can do it of course you can <laughs> i went patrick i can't my brain's gone <laughs> i've been playing music for 30 years i can't do this of course you can 